rate 4. Rate 4 is similar to rate 3 but instead of byte level striping here it uses block level striping with a dedicated parity disk. The data to be written onto the disk will be divided into blocks to be striped across multiple disks. So while writing each row of blocks, the corresponding parity block can be calculated on the move and the data blocks together with the parity block can be written parallelly to all the disks. So what about performance? Here we are using striping that to block level striping hence definitely there should be some improvement in performance. First consider the read performance. Suppose we have a read request, two read requests, one for block A and one for block E. Thus while disk 1 services the request for block A parallelly disk 2 can service the request for block E. Hence, multiple requests can be serviced at the same time. For random reads from different portions of the logical disk, this rate level can perform well. So, there is improved read performance. Now, what about write performance? Suppose we have a write request for block A and block E. While these two blocks are written or updated, their corresponding parity blocks should also be updated. But both the parity blocks are present in the same parity disk. So if we try to execute these write requests parallelly, it will create a bottleneck in the parity disk. Thus, since we are using a dedicated parity disk, all the write operations require a write on the parity disk causing a performance bottleneck for all the write operation. Hence, there is no improvement in the write performance. And this level ensures redundancy thereby reliability by using the parity scheme. Let the block size be small of 2 bytes to make it simple. We can consider the parity block is obtained by performing an XOR operation on the data blocks. Even if one disk fails, our data is safe. We can recover or rebuild the data by performing an XOR on the remaining data block and the parity block of the corresponding row. And about the disk capacity, we are using a single redundant disk, hence we have more usable disk capacity to compared to mirroring and hamming cot method. For a total of n disk, we keep only one disk capacity for redundancy, remaining and minus one disk capacity is usable for data. And the minimum number of disks required for RAID 4 setup is 3. 2 disks, minimum 2 disks for striping and 1 for a dedicated parity disk. So it ensures redundancy with more usable disk capacity and provides improvement in the RAID performance too. But the major drawback is the usage of a dedicated parity disk. Hence RAID 4 was also not commonly used.